Welcome back, one and all. So in our previous lesson, we saved a file as a PDF so that we would have something to play with here. So now we're going to go open that PDF file and edit it right here in Word. So I'm headed down to my Open Other Documents uh, connection. I'm going to navigate over to my um, Finished Word Documents folder, where I discover that I have a copy of Stockholder Report as a PDF file but I don't have a copy of Stockholder Report as a Word document, and that's kind of my whole point here. So I'm in Word, and I'm opening this PDF file. And as I open it, it comes in looking like this. I get a little message that says it's about to convert this to an editable Word document. The good news is I shouldn't have to actually save it as a Word document anymore. I can edit it in Word and save it as a PDF without saving it as a Word document in between. So I'm clicking on OK. I understand that it's going to turn it into a Word document temporarily. So catch up with me. Put the video on pause. In Word, open that PDF file. It does it really slick nowadays. All right. So right now, it is temporarily a Word document, but it hasn't been saved as a Word document. So I don't know how many of you own a copy of Adobe Acrobat and have ever tried to edit documents using it. It is really not a great word processor. For trying to do things like making two columns, you would actually have to do some coding in Adobe Acrobat to create two columns, but Word is great at that. So I'm scrolling down to, let's see, I'm on uh, the third page of my seven pages, and I'm looking at these two paragraphs that start with excluding and non-recurring items. So scroll down till you can see those, please. All right, here we go. We're going to take these two paragraphs right here, and turn them into two columns. So I'm selecting those two paragraphs, and then I'm going to go to my Layout tab, where I will then click on Columns and turn it into two columns. Please join me there. So pause the video, select those two paragraphs, turn them into two columns under the Layout tab. All right, here comes the whole point of this thing. I am now going to save this as a PDF without actually saving it as a Word document. So I'm going up to my File tab. I'm going to do a Save As. I'm going to head to my Finished Word Documents folder. Maybe I'll try to keep the same name here, Stockholder Report. Now it's ready to save it as a Word document. Be careful, what I'm trying to demonstrate is that you don't have to do that. So come with me and switch from Word document to a PDF file. And now when I click on Save, I'm making sure that I'm putting it in the Finished Documents folder. Now as I click on Save, it says we can't save this file because it's read-only. Okay, well that sounds like something has gone wrong, but it's really the way that it's built in. It says if you want to keep your changes, you're going to need to name it something different. Okay, well that's a small price to pay. So I'm going to click on the Okie Dokie button. All right, I understand that. I still want to put it in the Finished Documents folder. And now, again, I'm going to be very careful not to save it as a Word document. It's trying real hard to save that thing as a Word document. I'm going to say, no, 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 thank you. I would rather save it as a PDF file. But I'm going to have to change its name slightly. How about edited stockholder report ending in a PDF? So I'm just going to change the name slightly like that, adding the word edited. And again, I'm making very sure that I'm putting it in the finished Word documents folder saving it as edited stockholder report on PDF. I'm clicking on save. I was totally successful at saving this as edited stockholder report. And then to prove that I'm successful at it, I'm going to double click on it and let it open in the Adobe Reader program. And as I begin scrolling down, there are my two columns. Woo woo! And again, what we're demonstrating here is we were actually able to edit this PDF easier in Word than we would have been able to in Adobe Acrobat.